What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL, and welcome back to another NFL video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. My boy loves my intro, too. He's sitting here next to me just cheesing at me the whole time I was recording that. Uh, thank you guys for joining me, as always. GreenlightDFS.com to join the squad for Week 8. First game of Week 8. I love this game. I am excited for this one. I think Tampa Bay comes in rejuvenated after losing a heartbreaking loss the last time out against a horrible team that they should have dominated. Now... They're going to come in and probably play really, really well. So I, I like this game. I think this game's going to be high scoring. I'm excited for it. So let's get straight into it. First and foremost, we got to decide what we expect the game script to be like. So for me, like I said, I think Tampa Bay comes in rejuvenated. I think they put points on the board quick. And I think it's Baltimore playing from behind. So obviously, the main go-to guys for Baltimore you're going to want. Um, and on the Tampa Bay side, you're going to want the guys that you think are going to, you know, obviously connect the most, move the ball down the field the most, you know, touchdown potential, all that good stuff. So we're going to get into it. Let's go ahead and get straight in. So starting off at captain, I like a few different ways. You've got Lamar Jackson at 17-7, which has been a struggle when I've been making my first look lineup so far. I haven't had a ton of Lamar at captain because it's really a struggle at that price tag. I do, though, have some Tom Brady. Uh, Tampa Bay is a pass-heavy team, okay? They pass a lot. Yes, they have Leonard Fournette, and Fournette has big games from time to time, but I think this is a game where Tom Brady is really going to air it out a ton, all right? You also have uh, Julio Jones out, Russell Gage out, which is going to give some guys, which is going to make some guys value, like some really good value on this slate, and I really love guys to pair him with because of that, and that's Chris Godwin that I'm going to pair him with this week. Um... The weakness for this Baltimore secondary has been the slot. They've been trying to move people around and figure out that weak spot in the slot all season, but they're giving up the second most fantasy points to slot receivers. Chris Godwin lines there predominantly. He's going to have a fantastic game here, especially with Gage and Julio out. Godwin's going to get funneled the ball a ton over that middle of the field. Baltimore's going to struggle to stop that. Tom Brady's going to be able to move the ball pretty easily going to his guy Godwin uh, this whole game. Yes, I like Mike Evans. I think he has an, a solid game, but the weak spot is the slot, and you know Tom Brady knows that, and you know he's going to hit there early and often. But Mike Evans is obviously a beast, but you're having to pay a good premium price for him. So I'm siding with Godwin as my favorite Tampa Bay receiver. I love pairing Godwin up with Captain Tom Brady fantastic spot for them and then you already know you have to have Lamar Jackson now you know what let me take that out you have to have Lamar Jackson but I'm going to go with a guy who I think is even more pivotal for pivotal pivotal oh, golly even more pivotal uh with the price point okay and point per dollar I think he's going to be very important with the game script that I'm expecting here and that's Mark Andrews Mark Andrews is Lamar Jackson's favorite target okay on top of that you have Baltimore's receiver Rashad Bateman, who's going to have a toughest matchup, might even be shadowed by Carlton Davis. So we'll see if he's shadowed by Carlton Davis. That is a downgrade for Rashad Bateman. Um, and I'm expecting a ton of Mark Andrews love here for Lamar, playing from behind, having to throw the ball. Obviously, if you have a way to do it, get Lamar Jackson in your lineups, okay? I know he's not in the core, but that's because I'm trying to make it so that you guys have plenty of money to make balance out of this. So my main core, guys, is going to be Tom Brady at the captain because, like I said, they're a pass-heavy team. They're at home in Tampa Bay, and it's a fantastic spot for Brady, especially paired with Chris Godwin, slot receiver going against Baltimore, who struggles against the slot. Uh, that is where they have been trying to figure out how to fix that, but they they can't, okay? Second most fantasy points to slot receivers. Chris Godwin is their guy there, and he is going to absolutely dominate. You already know Tom Brady knows their, their weakness and is going to be really taking advantage of it here. Mark Andrews on the run back, okay? Obviously, with Tom Brady and Chris Godwin as my main two guys, you're going to want Andrews on the other side. If you're expecting Baltimore to be down, Mark Andrews is going to get a ton of attention here this week against Tampa Bay. And, exa and, and exactly the same reason why I mentioned earlier, with Rashad Bateman possibly dealing with a shadow, that's going to open up Andrews even more. So expect Mark Andrews to have a solid, solid game at 9-2. I really love this spot for him. And obviously, let me reiterate one more time before we go talk about the other players on this slate that we like after we, now that we have the three-player core. Love Lamar Jackson. Find a way to get him in if you can, for sure. Um, not if you can. Find a way to get him in, period. Okay, let's talk about other options. Gus Edwards isn't super high on my list. He did have a great game last week. I get it. <clears throat> but the problem is, is that the Tampa Bay run defense is supposed to be really solid. And I do believe in their, their run defense. 
Gus Edwards also, the game script is not great here. Uh, they're going to be playing from behind is what I'm expecting at least. So I prefer more of Leonard Fournette because <coughs> he's heavily involved in the run game and he gets heavily involved in the pass game as well. So I do prefer Leonard Fournette when it comes to the running backs. Russell Gage will be out. Um, Devin Duvernay possibly could find some openings, especially if they uh, shadow Rashad Bateman. Um the other value I'm really sitting on, though, Cade Otten is interesting, but his price is kind of elevated to where it should be. Sorry, my son's playing in the background. Don't don't mind that. Uh, Cade Otten at 5K. I don't love his price at that 5K, but he does run a good bit of routes, and he could have a lot of success here. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be totally shocked to get just two touchdowns. Like, I really wouldn't. So you can consider those options for sure. I haven't had a ton of them just off roster construction. I haven't really needed it, but... He's a solid. Isaiah Likely playing from behind. This guy runs a decent amount of routes as well. Should see some targets in this game as well, especially with the obvious attention being on Bateman and Andrews. Likely could end up finding some holes in the defense as well. Um, okay, the value guy that I wanted to talk about is going to be Brashad Perryman. With Russell Gage out and Julio Jones out, I'm expecting Perryman to be fantastic value at 1,200. Uh, this is a guy that I definitely have interest in as a value. You also have other guys like Darden. You have um, you have Scotty Miller, stuff like that you can do. Because of the pass-heavy nature of Tampa Bay, regardless if they're up in this game or not, um, <coughs> it doesn't matter. They're still going to be pass-heavy. So because of that, getting a value Tampa Bay receiver sounds great or a value – Baltimore guy. My favorite ba value Baltimore guy is probably going to be like, uh, there's not a ton of super cheap value for Baltimore. So uh, outside of that, though, what are you doing? Outside of that, though, I love, that's pretty much the way I like to go. I, the, my favorite value is on Tampa Bay, uh, and that's going to be Perryman. And then my core guys, Tom Brady, Chris Godwin in the slot. Like I said, take advantage of that matchup. You know Tom Brady knows that, and you know they're coming for blood tonight. Mark Andrews on the run back. He's going to be heavily targeted for Lamar Jackson. Absolutely love Mark Andrews in this one, especially the full point PPR and DK. That's why I'm prioritizing Andrews over um, over uh, Lamar Jackson. But don't get it confused. Just because Lamar Jackson's not in the core does not mean he isn't completely necessary tonight. So find a way to get Lamar if you can. I absolutely love this game. I'm excited for this game, y'all. Thank you guys for joining me as always. Hopefully I was able to touch on everything and pretty much give you guys a good start for this slate. Uh, good luck, and let's get it. I'm out, y'all. Peace.